I would like to welcome you to today's uh, transmission from the Hellenic Mediterranean University here in Greece. And this is in the realms of uh, lessons such as uh, management, leadership, and strategic management. And uh, it's the second in uh, the series of the Adapt or Die uh, interviews of uh, key industry people. Uh, and uh, the purpose of this uh, interview is to uh, show uh, how uh, leaders in industry uh, adapt, and especially in so challenging times as these are. So uh, I would like to welcome uh, Mr. Vasilis Fragulakis, uh, who is the commercial director of uh, the group of hotels called Aldemar here in Greece and it's a great honor and pleasure and I think if I was interviewing you um, two months uh, ahead of time now uh, you would probably wouldn't have the time to do this so thank you very much. Thank you the pleasure is uh, mine dear Alexia and uh, I'm very honored uh, for the, this kind of uh, interview that uh, gives me the opportunity to have a contact with you and uh, with uh, the uh, university students uh, uh, in Crete, but uh, also abroad uh, that will uh, have the opportunity to um, share with uh, me, with us, uh, our thoughts uh, for the current situation and for the future. And the future, I think it is more important for the young uh, people, the, next generation. Sure. Um, just to give a bit of background, especially for the foreign students, uh, tourism in Greece uh, amounts to about 30% or more of our uh, GDP, our national GDP. And uh, also it employs more than a quarter of the employable population. So it's a very uh, crucial uh, industry. And um, within this industry, uh, the majority of uh, tourism uh, comes from uh, Crete. Um, and the group uh, that uh, Mr. Fragulakis uh, represents as a commercial director uh, is one of the biggest uh, in Greece with uh, six luxury uh, resorts and uh, two um, Thalasso centers, spa centers, is that correct? Yes. So you would like to talk to us a little bit yes. more about the industry and um, the group of hotels that you represent. Um, yes, so just a few um, information uh, about uh, our hotel group. It's Aldemar Resorts. We do have hotels here on Crete uh, as well in uh, Peloponnese three uh, uh, here on Crete plus the villas uh, and two in uh, Peloponnese. Uh, it's five star uh, resorts uh, and we have however one four star uh, and two Thalassus Spa centers um, as you mentioned uh, and I must say that um, for the Thalasso which maybe for some people is not uh, known, uh, Thalasso Spa and um, the, this comes from the Greek uh, word uh, thalassa, which is the sea. Mm -hmm. And actually it's uh, all treatments uh, that take place uh, with the use of the uh, sea water. So we have do uh, treatments uh, for well-being uh, and with the sea water that we take it from our uh, clear uh, sea of uh, Mediterranean, the Cretan Sea also. And uh, we heat it up a little bit up to the temperature of uh, 32 degrees, and you, you, we use it for the uh, different treatments. Thalasso, actually the, the French people invented this terminology, and now in, in, in uh, France there are more than uh, 50 Thalasso spa centers uh, uh, worldwide, uh, uh, famous, and uh, this is a new uh, business uh, for Greece, uh, we introduced the Thalassa therapy 22 years ago with the opening of the Royal Mare uh, Hotel. And um, I must say also that uh, the group uh, is a, a, a Greek company 
owned and run from the family of uh, uh, Mr. Dr. Angelopoulos uh, and uh, his family, the sons, uh, two sons and one daughter. He has uh, uh, actually the CEO of our group is uh, Mr. Alexandros Angelopoulos, the, uh, the uh, one of the two sons and uh, the father is still active in business. Uh, he's uh, uh, a doctor in economics, uh, studied in Lausanne. So, you know, he's more a businessman uh, than a, a, a traditional uh, Greek uh, uh, hotelier. Um, our res resorts, our hotel was a resort. We don't have city hotels. And as you know, uh, Greece is focused uh, mostly in the resort uh, business uh, rather than, than the city business. If we consider that, um, yes, uh, we do have uh, well, roughly uh, 30 million uh, arrivals uh, uh, per year in tourism and uh, uh, only on Crete we have uh, 4.5 uh, 4, 4 million arriving uh, and the two major airports of uh, Heraklion and uh, Hanya. Uh, you mentioned before that, and I must uh, say that uh, you mentioned that uh, the 30% uh, of the uh, GNP uh, product of Greece is affected uh, uh, directly or indirectly uh, with tourism. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, this is the truth. Uh, some say 25 to 30, but uh, I can confirm you that for Crete, uh, especially, it is uh, 50 percent. And uh, there are um, other uh, smaller islands. Uh, uh, like uh, Santorini or Mykonos that we know and everybody knows that, uh, um, okay, 95% uh, they are affected uh, directly uh, from uh, tourism. Uh, mm -hmm. There are other like Rodos, uh, the same, it's uh, something like 80%. So <clears throat> tourism, yes, it is very important uh, for Greece uh, and uh, uh, we're proud that we do a good business uh, until now uh, and the Greece is well known uh, as uh, one of the best uh, resort uh, destinations uh, uh, worldwide. And uh, we're very proud to, for Crete as well. Um, from our previous, from, from our previous, uh, because I, I know you many years. <laughs> yeah. So um, I've been following your work and uh, I remember that uh, you take a particular, particularly different way of uh, promoting uh, your group of hotels abroad, uh, but also Greece. So uh, talk to us about uh, the symposiums you do. Yes, um, well, th th this is a very good uh, example. What, what we did uh, uh, last uh, two year, 10 years, uh, actually it is the 11th year that uh, uh, we did it um, this uh, winter, the past winter, and uh, it, it was uh, the beginning of the crisis at that time in Greece, uh, the economic crisis, and uh, we, we had um, an idea, and actually this came from um, one uh, of uh, the salesperson that uh, uh, later on uh, Mr. Angelopoulos uh, uh, took this idea and uh, create uh, the Sibosio cooking uh, event. Um, what we did, uh, it was something that uh, uh, brought to us a lot uh, of recognition uh, abroad uh, without spending uh, a lot of money. Uh, it, it was, uh, and it is still a cooperation uh, of our company with other local uh, companies uh, with the product uh, companies uh, and tour operators uh, from abroad. You know that uh, in, in Greece, actually, the tourists uh, come, uh, the majority of the tourists come with uh, the tour operators uh, and with the charter flights, etc. Because we're speaking of, of, of millions, yes, it's not uh, just a few <coughs> hundreds uh, individuals. Uh, so the, the concept of symposium. Uh, is that uh, we invite with our uh, partners, uh, the tour operators, uh, the, we invite the travel agencies, so the people that sell our hotels uh, during the winter uh, period 
in different uh, cities uh, within Europe, and uh, we teach them uh, Greek uh, cuisine. We teach them Greek recipes. Uh, and we bring Greek products. Uh, our chefs, during the winter period, um, they travel uh, abroad and um, more than 30 to 35 cities each winter period, starting mostly in February and Mar March. They are the two major uh, months so that we do this program. And uh, <clears throat> uh, the tour operators, so let's say that we do this in Paris or in London here. Yeah? Uh, in each of the cities, we have one tour operator that we cooperate with. And uh, he sends the invitation to the best selling people that he knows which are the best selling uh, travel agencies. Uh, so we invite them in, in one cooking studio. And uh, it's a night uh, event that starts, um, like an afternoon event uh, starts at six o'clock uh, and the duration is three to four hours. Uh, so we teach uh, them uh, the Greek recipes. And each year uh, there's something uh, different uh, scheduled uh, dedicating to the Greek cuisine. Uh, mm -hmm. This year, for instance, uh, it was the Greek cheese. Uh, say cheese, we say. Um, last, uh, some years ago, it was uh, the, uh, the Greek street food. Um, other year, we had uh, the uh, uh, fish of Greece. Yes, uh, so they, they are, uh, every year we dedicate uh, something different. So, the, the so you, have, you have a famous uh, chef who comes along, or a well we, we, we have chef? our chefs. Uh, the, our oh, you have your own, of course. Because, yes. uh, and this is the because the people, the, the travel agents that they come, they can uh, see and find these recipes and see our chefs uh, when they visit our hotels. Uh, mm -hmm. So, this is the concept. Uh, every night, uh, 30 to 35 people invited. Uh, we um, have a, it's it's informal. Uh, we don't make uh, any hotel presentation. We have uh, the recipes. We have one on a uh, uh, magazine that we give them with uh, all the information, the details. We give them uh, some uh, presents from Greek uh, uh, products and producers that they join and support uh, these Greek wines, um, olive oil, uh, beer. Uh, different products, uh, cheese, uh, and they take this with uh, them also uh, uh, when we finish this uh, kind of uh, uh, symposium seminars, as uh, uh, we say. Uh, so that was so, the so, so, sorry, so this is a, uh, this is a way of uh, also not just uh, promoting uh, your own uh, business, uh, your hotels, but also a way of uh, promoting uh, Greek hospitality, which is, uh, yes. I think, uh, is yes. the competitive, competitive advantage of Greece. Yes. Is that... Actually, the, the concept is, this is why what we call it symposium, not uh, something with uh, Aldemar. Okay, everybody knows that it's behind, it's, it's us, but uh, the concept is that if we promote Greece, we are going to benefit also uh, us. It, the benefit returns also to us. But uh, the concept is that we promote Greece and we do it right now this 11 years. So you can uh, uh, just make the mathematics and see uh, 30 to 35 uh, average uh, per year uh, cities uh, um, with uh, 30 to 35, uh, sometimes 40 packs uh, uh, per uh, night. So you understand that uh, we have educated a lot of uh, people in the meantime. Uh, and this is, of course, uh, free of charge because we do it with the cooperation of the travel, uh, of the tour operators, the Greek uh, producers, and uh, a lot of other, uh, also I, I must mention that the Aegean is always supporting us uh, with the mm -hmm. flights. And uh, so uh, we, we, a lot of people in our company, they work on this. Uh, but it is uh, something that brings result uh, to everybody that is involved uh, in these uh, symposium events. So a lot of your suppliers, in a sense, and partners uh, 
participate in this and it has become like a, a branded uh, product in a sense for Greece. Yes, it, is, it is indeed uh, for, 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 for Greece uh, and uh, I must say that the, also the participants and the tour operators they are waiting every year they look forward to these uh, events and there is a recognition behind we have a, a web page uh, symposium.gr or in the facebook you can find us and, and we print also this uh, magazine which is fantastic yeah? so uh, yes uh, um, recognition uh, is coming uh, and uh, this is good for greece and we d it is done actually the idea was to promote uh, mostly Greece, uh, and uh, then through this promotion, uh, uh, everybody benefits. So, what would you say um, makes your uh, group of hotels different from uh, other competitors? I, let, let me tell you uh, the first uh, question about um, what makes the difference for not for only for our hotels, uh, but uh, in general of the Greek hotels and especially of the Cretan hotels. Uh, and then I will uh, come to the Airbnb. Um, uh, first of all, the, the Greek hotels and the Cretan hotel business, which is very, very um, popular, uh, there is a secret behind. And uh, always there is a secret behind uh, any this kind of a success. Uh, the the most important uh, is the Greek hospitality, what we call uh, philoxenia in uh, the Greek language. Philoxenia has two work, uh, words. Actually, it's uh, philos, it's the friend, and xenia comes from uh, xenos, uh, which is the stranger. So philoxenia is the friend of the stranger. Uh, and this is the perfect example uh, for the Greek uh, philoxenia, the Greek uh, hospitality. So yes, the success of Greece uh, starts uh, from the Greek uh, hospitality and uh, extends uh, to different uh, parts. And um, I must say, and this comes through my experience with the contact uh, with uh, the guests that I had uh, uh, all the previous years uh, as a hotel manager uh, in our hotels. Um, and if I will not take uh, some of your time and I will just uh, say uh, a true short story uh, yes, with uh, a guest uh, that um, uh, it, it was an, a couple from uh, England, uh, rather let's say elderly people, roughly 80 plus, uh, coming to our hotel and uh, you know in, in the hotel we do this kind of a, um, um, manager cocktails. Uh, uh, so once per week, we invite them for a drink, especially uh, the new guests. Um, so uh, this uh, couple, <clears throat> I saw them and uh, in the bar, uh, welcoming uh, them. And uh, they said, oh, Mr. Frank, I guess, uh, thank you very much for the invitation. Uh, I say, well, how's your stay? You enjoyed it? Yes, we came yesterday and uh, until now it is something, it's all perfect. Uh, we're very impressed. Uh, and uh, thank you very much. Um, I said, uh, I hope that I will see you during the stay and maybe uh, also next year that, that you will come to us. And they say, mm, uh, you know, um, uh, next year we will not uh, come here again. I said, why? You said that you're happy here with us. Uh, they said, um, listen, mm, we are 82 and my wife is, is uh, 80, so we don't have much uh, time left uh, as you understand and we have a short list of destinations that we um, have to visit and uh, as you understand if, if we do all this list we might come back to you again I said now i understand that i perfectly and i support you and i wish that you will finish uh, your list all your list uh, and uh, although it is was a short one <laughs> and uh, come back to us again after some days it was the second day of their stay in our hotel. After some days, uh, I saw them uh, uh, in the night uh, and uh, again at the bar. You know, the British people, they go, they join the bars uh, very often. <laughs> and 
they waved me and said, I, they are, and they approached. I said, oh, how are you? I said, yeah, tonight is our last uh, night. You know, it was, oh, I said, have a nice flight back home, etc., cetera, et cetera. They said, uh, I would like to tell you something. I said, oh, yes. They said, uh, we will come back again next year. Aha. Uh -huh. I said, this is a difference. I, I must ask you what has changed in the previous days and you, you changed your mind also. They said, listen, Mr. Frangulakis, uh, you know, Vasilis is like my first name. Vasilis from the main restaurant, the waiter. I said, yes, I know Vasilis. What a wonderful person. He invited us and he took us in his village and we went there. And uh, there was a, a, a celebration uh, in the main square. Uh, and we met, met all the villages and uh, his, uh, all his family. And we had such a wonderful time that we'll not forget. And uh, he gave us also some advices, what to do, etc. So uh, yes, it is because of uh, Vasilis that we will come back again. <laughs> I say this is a, one of the most perfect examples of the Greek uh, hospitality. hospitality. And yeah. even you can find this even in, in not only in the uh, smaller hotels, uh, but sometimes the contact is easier, but also in the bigger uh, uh, hotel complexes uh, like uh, ours. And uh, so we, we, this is a, a personal example that uh, I always uh, uh, say to uh, people uh, as an example of the Greek hospitality, because this is part and of the Greek hospitality. Brilliant. Uh, I could listen to you for hours. Uh, mm -hmm. However, I, I almost uh, forgot that we are in a situation where uh, there's been a pandemic and uh, the, the, the tourist season has been uh, by much shortened. And I don't even know exactly when uh, the hotels will be opening again. So would you like to talk to us about or the current situation and also uh, what was your first thought, for example? Yes, yes. I, I, I will, I will, I will uh, uh, reply to this and then I will come back to the Airbnb. Yes, yes. Yes. So, you know, the, uh, uh, as everybody knows, this is a unique situation that we never could um, easily predict, uh, let's say, uh, uh, even um, uh, we had friends uh, in the London School of Economics, they said uh, uh, we always made uh, scenarios uh, of uh, different uh, uh, crises, uh, but we never could imagine uh, that uh, such an uh, epidemic will come and will affect uh, all uh, the world. Uh, so it's unique. This is the first point. Um, of course, it affects uh, all kinds of businesses and uh, more particularly the business that have to do with uh, uh, transportation and uh, with uh, the services. Because uh, hotel industry in general, and uh, especially in the resort field, uh, it, it is a service and service mm -hmm. that requires uh, contact. And uh, if uh, uh, we have to keep, um, a proper uh, distance uh, in order to um, not to be affected, uh, then it is um, not so easy. It's uh, impossible. <laughs> it, it, is, it, is, it is impossible. And you cannot imagine, we cannot even imagine that uh, uh, we will come back uh, to the position that we were before um, uh, uh, because we're going to have a new situation for the next couple of years. Uh, uh, maybe until the time that we have a, a vaccine or no, or we can um, have a, a treatment that will secure us uh, and our mm -hmm. guests. Uh, very positive that uh, Greece uh, has handled until now the situation uh, successfully, very successfully, I would uh, say. In Crete, moreover, we have uh, we had uh, in total 19 cases uh, reported, uh, and it's now it's uh, more than uh, 30 days, one month that we didn't have a, we don't have any any reported uh, cases. 
Um, so how do you adapt? Because uh, this is an interview mainly about yes. the ability of businesses uh, to adapt, uh, but not only of businesses, obviously, of the people that work within these businesses. Yes. So I, how, I think what's the, the adaptation? The, the, the adaptation from the people that work in the hotel business and generally in the service business uh, will be uh, easy. I would not say easy, but not difficult compared to other mm -hmm. businesses because people working in, in the uh, services, uh, they are uh, used to uh, adapt uh, according to the demands uh, and the wishes uh, of uh, the clients. So they are flexible. And of course, uh, people that are working, especially in the resort hotels, they are very flexible. So uh, for me, I don't have, uh, I don't think that uh, it will be difficult to, to adapt to, to uh, let's say, more realistic uh, and um, uh, protocols, uh, health protocols. So let's say this mm -hmm. uh, uh, that will come in the, the coming uh, weeks. We were waiting uh, now the new protocols. So um, I, I think that uh, it will be easy. And uh, uh, this is the key reason compared to uh, other business uh, that uh, they are not uh, used to have flexibility. Mm -hmm. So uh, the difference for us, uh, people working in the hotels is flexibility. And because we're focused in flexibility and the, and the service of the client. Uh, this is why will be, I believe that it will be uh, easy to adapt. Of course, there's been a, a huge uh, economic um, uh, difficulty uh, because of the shortening of the season. Uh, how is this going to be faced, do you think? Uh, employing less people? Is it yes, easy to forecast? Uh, uh, first of all, uh, for the, the tourist season in Greece, it's uh, six to seven months. Uh, we lost already beginning uh, April, May, June. Uh, we can forget it. The uh, positive scenario is that we start in July and July slowly. This means that um, um, uh, July will be like April. Yeah. Uh, with uh, some arrivals. and But mm -hmm. there are a few steps uh, to be made to, uh, in order to start the touristic season in Greece, and not only in Greece, there are specific uh, steps worldwide, to, to worldwide uh, uh, for the resort business. And the first uh, step, uh, of course, is, is uh, the agreements, uh, what we call uh, bilateral agreements uh, between the countries. Uh, uh, for to allow the charter uh, connections to start. So this means that uh, uh, Greece has to agree with, uh, let's say, Germany or Poland uh, or uh, Czech Republic or other countries. I don't mention uh, uh, UK and France uh, and Italy because uh, uh, these are the countries that most probably will have a delay on this. Uh, so first we can agreements that we allow the, the, to start again the charter connection. And mm -hmm. I say charter because it's different than uh, the business connection with a regular alliance. The charter refers to uh, tourists. Uh, tourism. Yes, mm -hmm. tourism, yeah. And uh, this has to be combined to include, let's say, uh, the new safety rules for their, during the departure and arrival or arrival and departure. Uh, mm -hmm. this, and, the, and what we see right now, the most um, realistic uh, procedure uh, for the, uh, the arrival and or departure um, is, are the molecular tests uh, that can mm -hmm. be made rather than the rapid tests uh, um, that can be made uh, at the airport so before the, uh, their departure. Uh, so people that they will arrive in our country or in different other uh, resort countries for the vacation uh, to be already tested and uh, allowed to uh, leave the country and enter mm -hmm. the other country. And of course, when they will 
have to return back, huh? they have to be tested again. This kind of tests, of course, will be uh, is the first step for the airports, but uh, uh, this kind of tests uh, should be uh, uh, available also in the hotels for other guests uh, coming to, uh, with other means, uh, by train uh, or by car. Uh, so uh, this kind of, of uh, uh, security, the security measures should be made, also available should need to be made. Process. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I, I don't see any other um, uh, solution. And so if it, we, we start the charter connection, we have agreements, etc., then the, the, the two operators that make these uh, packages uh, of the flight and the hotel, they will contact the are uh, the resort hotels in Greece again, although we have contracts uh, and a lot of hot all the hotels are closed. So they will ask, are you going to open on the 1st of July? Let's say that is the most probably date opening uh, the resort. So the, the resorts that they will say, uh, yes, we're going to open, mm -hmm. um, they will be on the list, of course. Then they, then they will, uh, the third step is then to uh, reschedule their flight uh, plans to the destinations that there is enough uh, hotel capacity. So they will adapt this hotel capacity to the flight capacity. This is the, uh, the procedure. And they will start selling uh, the packages uh, again. We must not forget that there are a lot of guests that have already booked uh, our hotels uh, uh, not only in Greece, uh, for the coming months. Of course, we changed the, or some reservations are completely cancelled, uh, but uh, we have, do have existing bookings, uh, valid bookings, uh, uh, and no cancellations in July, August, September, October. Uh, the bookings that we had, uh, actually, they were not affected. Uh, uh, That's not very positive. Reason. This is very positive. And uh, the and the image of, of Greece right now is uh, also very uh, good uh, mm -hmm. because we handle well the epidemic. Uh, so uh, most probably the majority of the tour operators uh, they say uh, number one I'm destination if we start the flights uh, is it will be Greece. Uh, mm -hmm. They say also Cyprus is also um, and this uh, list is very popular and Portugal. These are the three destinations right now. Uh, is it Croatia too? Uh, am I correct? It is Croatia too, because they can go uh, by car or some, ah. so it is, it is. But Croatia, it, the bed capacity of Croatia is it's small, very, very yes. small. So it's limited. Yeah. It's limited. Mm -hmm. uh, so we expect okay. that in Greece, uh, if we start, of course, if we have the, the treatment, uh, they have their medicine uh, to be sure that uh, if something uh, will happen, then we're, uh, the guest or the patient can take the pill and um, feel better. And uh, this is, uh, affects uh, directly psychology and uh, perception. Yes, the perception. And, uh, and a lot of uh, bookings, uh, new bookings might come. We must not forget that it's not only the uh, everything is, is focused on the client. The client, uh, how will be at that time? How we are going to be at that time? Um, because uh, everybody has uh, made their plans uh, for their summer holidays. Uh, now the plans are changed. Uh, a lot of people, they are not, uh, majority of the people, they are not working like right now or slowly starts the business. So the plans uh, have uh, been affected, changed. Uh, maybe uh, they cannot take uh, their their uh, vacation during the uh, yes. period they would like to have it. So everything has changed. Now uh, they are off business for two months. Uh, maybe they uh, priorities to start working and uh, get uh, uh, some of uh, the money back. Uh, that so uh, the industry is facing again an unknown future. Um, and I would say the short term is unknown, unlike uh, in old in past years where you could do some planning, but now it's all like up in the air. So 
How do, you feel, how do you personally feel about this? Uh, because you are the commercial director of this group of companies. So it's uh, quite... Uh, we, we want to, to uh, you cannot to work in tourism and uh, um, um, uh, feel and believe that uh, uh, there is no future. Yeah. So uh, we, we have to be positive uh, uh, and think positive. Of course, uh, the best possible scenario is that uh, we start in July and we're going to have half of the business that we had last year, same period. Uh, mm -hmm. So if we say that we start in July until October, uh, touristic season, and, but we're going to lose at least uh, half of our turnover uh, compared to the past year. This is the reality. Mm -hmm. is it? But uh, there's also a scenario that we say we, we might uh, not open at all. This is also a scenario that uh, the, the, uh, let's say the health um, uh, protocols will be so <clears throat> difficult. Uh, so uh, although we, we want to open, it will not uh, allow us to open. If the agreements between the countries will not uh, allow, if we say welcome, but the, uh, the Germany will uh, say uh, we don't allow charters to fly or um, other countries uh, will not allow this, then uh, we cannot do anything about this. Yeah? Yes, so, uh, yes. We can't be in control of everything. Only, okay. we, we exactly. can, we, only on the way that we respond to a situation. Is that correct? Do you yes, agree? because the decisions are not now made from the two operators, uh, nor from the hoteliers, mm -hmm. are made from the governments and from the states. And so, uh, let's see what uh, they will uh, say and later on if we can uh, follow. Uh, I believe that we will be, it will be possible to follow this. And I'm taking the positive scenario as I explained to you before. Brilliant. So uh, I'd also like to uh, ask you uh, about, uh, let's go back to the market uh, situation before the pandemic, before the crisis. And uh, what about, what's your view of uh, uh, Airbnb? It seems ah, yes, to be yes. quite a, a big competitor. Is it so? Is it really a big competition? I would say that uh, um, uh, um, Airbnb became a competitor when um, to some hotels, uh, specifically for the city hotels, not for the resort hotels. Uh, um, because it started nobody some years ago and nobody could expect uh, the success of uh, Airbnb. The, the problem that affects uh, not only Greece, but the general all, all the world, uh, and compared to, in comparison to the hotel business in general, is, is uh, some specific points uh, that I can speak from Greece, uh, of course, because um, I know the situation, but better in Greece, how the Airbnb is. Uh, Airbnb, Airbnb is, is welcome anyway, and uh, must continue. But there are some uh, rules that uh, should be followed uh, uh, otherwise, it's, it's not a fair uh, business, let's say. Uh, first of all, uh, it has to do with uh, the taxation, taxation and revenue. So this kind of business, uh, because we speak of, of uh, uh, some uh, uh, rooms or <clears throat> apartments or even houses that are, are rented to, to uh, guests for a specific uh, period of uh, time. Uh, in Greece, we had uh, a problem that we didn't have a platform to register all these uh, kind of uh, uh, apartments uh, or available houses. Uh, now there is a platform, but it has to be cross-checked. Uh, uh, so uh, all these uh, kind of, of um, apartments uh, are uh, registered to official and to, uh, issue uh, the uh, invoices uh, uh, to their guests. Uh, so there must be, this is the first step. The second step um, is the um, employment statement or, um, because the, there is still, and there was more, uh, what we call uh, black labor. 
Uh, this means, uh, I don't speak uh, for one apartment that I had uh, next to mine that I rented, but uh, companies that uh, they run uh, 20, 30, 100 uh, apartments in cities. Uh, uh, and, and these apartments uh, must be cleaned before the arrival and after the departure, sometimes during their stay, of course. And I refer to this black labor to the employees that uh, are the work kind of this kind of business and they are not registered at all. Mm -hmm. uh, third is the insurance, the li liability insurance. This the safety. Yeah. The safety. This refers to uh, the safety that the insurance, the safety. And the safety in general uh, refers to this, um, the security specifications that th this kind of apartments uh, must have. Because if you go to a hotel, you know that the hotel uh, has a permission to operate. Uh, the fire brigade has uh, issued a, a protocol and are checked to the hotels uh, if they are, they are well uh, worked. Uh, the, the, the swimming pools are checked uh, regularly. The food safety uh, protocols uh, are obligatory and were, were checked uh, mm -hmm. uh, regularly. Um, all these kind of controls uh, refer to the hotels or apartments, official apartments that they have uh, registration numbers uh, and they're official. But uh, none of these um, protocols are, are followed or very light or very few are, are followed from the Airbnb, uh, mm. let's say, business. So yes, uh, uh, Airbnb must continue, uh, but must uh, be controlled and adapt uh, because it creates, it's unfair to other businesses and it creates also uh, problems uh, to uh, the local economy because a lot of people uh, they try to find uh, let's say one uh, apartment to rent because they live and they work in a different place a different place that they are where they are born and they cannot find the proper one or they have to pay much more however the current situation has shown this crisis that uh, <laughs> Now it is reversing and a lot are uh, coming back to the old uh, uh, business uh, of renting uh, the, uh, their um, houses and apartments uh, uh, for uh, regular uh, long-term uh, contracts uh, and not for Airbnb. Uh, and I expect uh, guests uh, will also feel safer in uh, an establishment, which is a hotel and has all these security regulations, uh, rather than go to uh, any old apartment in the city center where there is no yes, such uh, uh, security. Uh, this, this is one of the points that uh, gives the advantage in the, the, the um, hotel business. And uh, in the official hotel business, uh, and uh, the guests uh, they do appreciate this, and combined with uh, the service, because um, a hotel guest uh, requ requires and uh, buys not only the room, but also the facilities of the hotel, mm -hmm. and this is a very important. Uh, uh, this is the difference uh, between uh, one uh, a room or one apartment uh, somewhere, which is uh, not even it's a Room, ra room rate, as we say, not even serving breakfast. But in a hotel, uh, you do have uh, uh, all the services and uh, the environment uh, for your holiday. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more integrated. It is more integrated. And this is why it, has, it is not so directly affected in the resort business. Uh, there are other ex exceptions, but in general, uh, it affects, uh, first of all, first the city hotels and then the uh, resort uh, hotels. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so um, I would like to ask uh, two final questions. Uh, mm -hmm. One has to do with uh, leadership. Uh, and the next and last question uh, has to do with uh, the future of employment of uh, young people, uh, especially uh, people mm -hmm 
who live in countries such as Greece, uh, where tourism is one of the main industries. So the first question I would like to ask is to do with uh, what particular leadership skills do you think uh, a manager needs to have in order to be um, flexible, adaptable, and uh, liked by his people in this stage uh, yeah. now, from now on? Yes, um, I think that's a very good question. Um, the um, leadership and management. Uh, of course, we know that uh, the word uh, leader, leadership comes from leader. So. Uh, uh, the first uh, uh, it, uh, element uh, the, that one uh, uh, manager should have is leading. Uh, and leading, uh, in my opinion, by giving uh, an example. So uh, one is leading by example. Um, second uh, would be um, to inspire. So uh, if he, the, the, the manager, the leader, is, uh, knows what he is doing, first of course, and uh, can communicate and speak uh, with uh, the people, the head of the departments, of the employees, um, uh, the way that he will treat the people and speak uh, to the people and respect the people, uh, this will give uh, him an advantage uh, compared to other uh, traditional methods uh, of the past uh, that uh, um, I'm sure uh, had a distance uh, with uh, uh, the employees. And, uh, so inspiration um, comes from vision, yes? So, so there, there needs to be a vision and uh, this leader needs to embody the vision. In a sense. Yes, and the vision has to be shared. So if I have a vision as a leader, but I don't share this vision with the other, what the vision is, then it is, uh, it is difficult uh, to, uh, to communicate um, mm -hmm. this. So uh, the vision leader, which has to be the vision of the company that he works for, must be well known and shared with the others uh, and uh, we have examples uh, that the vision created in cooperation with uh, the um, employees so um, uh, but also the leader always uh, has something in his mind uh, and uh, uh, this should be the vision of the leader combined with the vision of the company that he works for. This is the best uh, um, this is solution, in my uh, opinion. Uh, so imagination is uh, a key element of uh, inspiration and uh, having a, a visionary view of the future. Uh, imagination, yes. Uh, a leader might not have imagination. Uh, but uh, if, he's, uh, if he involves everybody in this, uh, a lot of new ideas might uh, come. So it's not necessary that uh, be creative uh, as a leader, uh, but uh, to give the opportunity to all the people that they work uh, for him to, when they have a new idea, to share this idea to feel uh, secure that uh, if they will say this, they will not, uh, uh, let's say, uh, say to him, um, what is the, this kind of the bullshit that you're telling us? Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, accept all the ideas, be open. Uh, without judgment, yeah, without yeah. judging. And the, 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 a very important key in the success, when you finally you will take a decision, is to explain to your people why you took this uh, decision. Because you as a manager, as a leader, you gather all the elements, you have all the information. If you have all the information, you can take a, a, a 
right decision. And this is a, a, another key element to be informed and have all the information. Because if we misjudge uh, somebody or a situation, then we come to a, a, a different conclusions. And um, uh, in my opinion, uh, this is a very important uh, key of uh, the success of a company. And mm -hmm. not only in the services, because in the services it is, it is a must, but only in, in, in other, in, in, in the factories. Um, uh, it, it's a, we know it from the past uh, very well from the, uh, the, the factories of Japan that uh, an employee uh, could stop all the production uh, chain by pressing, uh, uh, button uh, uh, stopping all the chain because he saw something that was not uh, correct. Okay, that uh, comes uh, uh, 30 years ago uh, started. So uh, imagine if if a single employee can stop the um, the, the chain of a factory producing uh, cars or something else, and everything will be stopped because he saw something what uh, what was not. Uh, correct or damaged. Imagine what power this employee has. So the power of making the change. So every employee, in your opinion, if I understood correct, needs to be allowed to have this uh, power to make the change, to be to more autonomous and uh, freer in uh, carving, sculpting yes. work. As exactly. Uh, very, very, very easily telling them if you have uh, suggestions, ideas, tell it. Feel free to tell it. So there needs to be a, a family uh, feeling to the team, correct? It has to be a team feeling. Huh? Yes, family. It's, it's a word that I, I, I don't want to use in the in very much in the. Um, they do businesses because a lot of they say it's uh, the, our family. The family is our family. Okay, the feeling uh, of, of the family is uh, something else. I, I would say uh, give the everybody the opportunity to express uh, themselves uh, and feel typed uh, and uh, feel the team working because it has to do with a, a team working. Uh, Maybe in all the kind of uh, maybe the majority of the businesses, of course, there are certain businesses that uh, it, working is not uh, completely necessary. Yeah? Uh, but in the majority in the business that we are involved uh, in the services, it is very important. And the success comes, uh, especially in the hotel business, uh, comes from the team. Uh, okay, there's always behind somebody, yes. But uh, most of the, 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 the guests, uh, they, when they come in our hotels, uh, generally in the hotels, uh, uh, they have contact with uh, the lower level of the employees. Yes? And uh, they are the, the, the ambassadors of the services uh, every time. It's not the top management that is behind the door. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so the, the doors of the top management should be open to everybody. Wonderful. So uh, the last question uh, has to do with uh, employment of young people in your industry. What would you advise uh, a young person who had planned to work uh, this season uh, to do now? Yes, <clears throat> there are two things. Yes, of course, it's, it's the season that is coming uh, in, in the next month. And, um, of course, it's, it's difficult for those that uh, mm -hmm. they've got the plants uh, and now they cannot have the plants because we don't know what will happen uh, in the next uh, months. So it's difficult to have a plant, but take advantage, I would say, this period uh, to educate yourself. Mm -hmm. Educate uh, through seminars, uh, reading books, uh, talking to other people that uh, might uh, give you new uh, elements that you need, uh, new ideas, exchange ideas, not be isolated and spending your time 
in front of uh, computer or TV watching uh, Netflix, etc. So uh, um, educate yourself in a different ways. Um, um, because in the past we didn't have the so much free time. So the coming the past and the coming one or two months, so the situation will not change completely. Uh, jobs will not come back 100%. We are going to have uh, more free time. So take uh, uh, your time for the young people, this is advice, to educate yourself in fields that in the past we didn't have the time to do this kind of uh, uh, thing. That is a very wise advice. Thank you very much. Uh, so one final what what would you like to, what final message would you like to uh, yes. um, leave, uh, for, for young people <laughs> for young people okay this refers to the success of the young people and the generation of course the young people for the future i believe that they can do everything that they like to do they want to do uh, the will uh, of doing something, focusing, and the hard working is, uh, are the two elements of the success. And this refers uh, to, in, in general, but especially to the younger uh, generation. Because, mm -hmm. uh, of course, studies are good, languages are good, yes, uh, appearance, if you have it, is good, attitude is, is good. But if, if I had to put in a priority, I would say, first of all is hard working. And the second is the will. So if you could be hard working and have a will, you will succeed. Wonderful. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Frangulagis. I thank you too. Uh, I wish the best uh, future for your industry. Thank you very much, uh, Alexia. It was my pleasure.